Wales News. My name is Kian. My name is Kiara. We will be sharing the news from all over Wales. Firstly, our reporters will be conducting primary interviews to gather thoughts on what it means to be a communicator. Everyone's learner profile is being a communicator. I think a communicator means to communicate with your friends and family and to to like listen to everybody's ideas. I think a good communicator is to think um, and communicate to many new people. Let's go around campus and see what um, which students think what is a good communicator. A good communicator is like Somebody that listens good, somebody that What do you think a good communicator is? I think a good communicator it means to be you got if someone needs to find an answer and you want to help to you have to and if they don't speak like your language, you need to communicate with them in some sort of way that both of you will understand. I think a good communicator is when you don't only talk to your friends, but to talk to other people, and you also help other people. Like let's say someone is new and they don't know their school, you can show them around and help them. What do you think a good communicator means? A communicator means you should Talk with people in a nice way. You you should also listen to them. You should listen to their opinion opinion and they should listen to yours. Yeah. Um being a communicator means you, you pay attention when others are sharing their ideas and you talk with others and if there's a new kid you talk with them and you make them feel less shy if they're shy and yeah. What do you think a good communicator is? I think a good communicator is someone that listens to others' ideas. And I think a good communicator is who looks out to things and communicates to new people. I think a good communicator is when is like when you tell someone the 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 habit of being good or bad. Okay. Hi, Grace. Well done, Primary. Those definitions were truly remarkable. So many things have been happening around campus. Let's have a look at what has been happening. Hi, Grade 1. What have you been currently learning in your class? UI, English, or Math? UI. We're learning about bridges. A lot of people meet for going to other place to other, other place. Some bridges made it of brick, steel, and iron and cement. Bridges um, can hold more things if it being iron and strong materials. So that's why there's a lot of cars um, using the bridge and because if there was no bridge you have to go around a whole river and and the trying what this is why you always see um triangles in bridges because triangles are the strong parts in bridges we learned in math my 
tennis and plastic weekend and we learned measurement. Hello grade three. Today we want to know what you guys are doing in class. In English. So math, English, and UOI. In English, we are writing to our pen pals in China and we're also writing recounts. In UOI, we are focusing on where we are in place and time, like monuments that help Namibia gain independence and statues. In math, we're learning division and multiplication. Hi, grade five. What are you currently busy with in English, UOI, and math? In math, we've been learning about multiplying and dividing decimals by a whole number. In UOI, we've been reflecting of our previous unit, which was properties and matter. In English, we were we currently learning how to write and Description text. Hello, we, we are the grade, grade four class. Kiara, what have we been doing in math? We have been doing division and long division and partial quotients, which is basically the same thing. Mm. Um, Kian, what have we been doing in English? Well, in English, we've been basically just doing persuasive writing. Okay. Oh yeah, Kiara, what are we doing in UOI? We are doing sharing the planet and learning natural resources. We have two projects, home learning project and the water project. Thank what you. Have you been have, what have you been learning currently in UOI and in English, we've been learning how to in English, we've been learning short terms of long words. Cool. And in your eye, we've been learning the unit on um, science and how the world works. Uh, in math, we've been learning uh, shapes, sizes, and like 3D to a 2D. We went around asking students about responsible water usage around school. Let's hear what they have to say. In the spirit of open-mindedness, how do you think we can be open-minded when using and saving water around the school? So how I think we can be open-minded in saving water at school is by closing the tap, thinking about how much water you're wasting in that tap just running down. You're wasting so much water. And why it's so important that you shouldn't waste so much water is because Nanipia does not have that much water. We have like a small amount of water. So we shouldn't be wasting water and opening the taps and leaving it open. Yeah. We need to save water by like some people in the bathroom put toilet paper inside of the tap and let it run. That is not good because if we run out of water, we won't able to like drink. And survive. We make sure the taps are closed. We we have to make sure that we use enough water. Okay. So we go. The way to save water is to not leave taps open and do not use so much water when you're planting. Do not just put the water in one plant. Um, I think we should, when we wash our hands, we should close the tap and we shouldn't just throw water out once we're finished with it. And yeah. Good afternoon. Let's hear from Mr. Yaku about the upcoming athletics. Good afternoon, Mr. Um, Yaku. We just wanted to know what are you guys doing for the athletics? Hi, hi everybody. 
So uh, Inter House Athletics are on the 21st of February at VIS from under, um, under 10 right through to under 19. Do you want to know some events that's going to take place as well? Yeah. Okay, so if you look here, we've got high jump, we've got javelin, we've got long jump, and we've got shot put going, and uh, you just missed the sprints and the long distances. Anything else? No. Yeah, thank you. See you guys there. Goodbye. Goodbye.